This is Coach Dana Inspires.com. How are you today? We are excited today to have my friend, my colleague, longtime associate, Marty Dickinson, with us this morning. And he is here with a company called Here Next Year. And he has an interesting story on why he named his company Here Next Year. And I think it goes, uh, speaks a lot to what we need to think about when we are sending out our message to people. And today what we're gonna be talking about is three steps to avoiding disaster in your business. Welcome, Marty, I'm so happy you're here. How are you today? Terrific, thanks for having me, I'm happy to help. <laughs> Yay, and we are happy that you're here. We have viewers that, you know, we're, uh, they may not own their own business yet, but they may be thinking about it. So. We have entrepreneurs, we have business owners, we have people who are hoping to be business owners. And I know that uh, this is going to be a very good conversation for them. Uh, before we really jump into that yummy, meaty stuff that we're going to be talking about, avoiding disaster. That sounds very scary, and I would love to avoid disaster, and I'm sure all of our viewers would too. But um, let's just, let me just ask you a couple questions. So uh, how do you see the business climate right now? You know, we've, we've kind of moseyed through that first initial COVID. We don't know what it is. We don't know how long it's going to last. And now we're going into things are changing. Some things are moving forward. Uh, we don't really know what it's going to look like during the fall. What, what do you think? What do you, how do you feel about what we're going through right now? I think that there are really three quadrants of people out there. There are people that are really established and things are just kind of humming along. And then there are people that have just kind of given up and they, they're just resigned that nothing is ever going to change. It's going to be like this forever. And then there's this giant quadrant in the middle that's just sort of, sort of sitting there and waiting. And you know, I'll give you a bonus quadrant. There are, there are some people that are definitely having the best sales months of their life. And that's not just Amazon. <laughs> there are a lot of people out there that are expanding. They're really focusing on certain parts of their business that have always worked well. And they're discovering new ways to serve their clients too. And they're just making a killing out there. So I think really personally, this is the best time in history to be in business for yourself. Excellent. Wow. That's, that's fabulous. Wow. Well, I'm pretty excited about that. So, you know, when, we t when we're talking about this is the best time, what can we as entrepreneurs, business owners, what can we do right now to really leap into this best time ever? Well, <laughs> you really have to figure out what your own client base really needs. I mean, you have to stay in contact with them. That's, that's really what I've been sort of preaching ever since the beginning of when COVID hit is that you need to check in with your clients, the ones that you have right now, as much as possible, just to make sure they're doing okay. Not even just about how they're how they're doing with their business part or whatever you're, however you're serving them, but are you still healthy? <laughs> have your kids gone back to school? How are you doing? Are, are, is 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 there anything that you need that you can't seem to find any place else? for help. I mean, we just have to be there for people. And that's, that's the starting point. I think that's really the most crucial thing of all. I, I love, I love that. I love that. And when we're, when we're in the midst of doing that, um, honestly, what's the worst thing that could go wrong with, with reaching out and, and contacting these folks? Well, the worst thing that could happen is that you'd be shut out and say, well, yeah, I'm fine. Just stop bothering me. And that occasionally will happen because again, there are people in these quadrants of where they are. And you know, I just think everybody eventually is, has to come around to a point where you say, all right, well, I guess we are going to have a next normal. Am I going to jump into that next normal or am I going to just continue in this waiting pattern for more months and months and months to see how things go? And you know, that, that's why I really wanted to come on this program today and talk about these, these ways to avoid disaster in your business because I'm seeing those mount up in certain specific areas as time goes on 
for the people who are just kind of hanging out and they're really not doing a lot with their business. They're just kind of waiting and seeing how things go and it's causing problems for them. So that when they do make that pivotal point and they say, okay, I'm ready to go forward now. Well, now they discover they have all these problems <laughs> that they have to go fix and solve. And it costs, it costs money to fix those problems. And, and the, the longer you wait, the longer you kind of stay away and just kind of avoid doing certain things, the more difficult it is to fix those problems before you can go forward. Right, right. Uh, that, that's so true. And I think there are those people who are just naturally, um, oh, how do I want to say this? You know, waiters and seers, you know, where I want to sit back here and, and see what's going on before I, I take that next move. Because what, what terrible thing is awaiting me if I make that move? And I always think, well, what fabulous thing could happen if you made that move? So I think, I think there's two sides of that coin that we could, we could, we should be looking at the shiny side, not the, not the other side. <laughs> um, can, so, can I get on to my answer just for a second to you? Sure. Because the way I answered that was more of a, a personal relationship thing between clients. And I know you've had, you've had a lot of guests on that talk about personal relationships with people that you work with. And I wanted to expand on my answer just a little bit because you asked, what's the worst that can happen? The worst thing that can happen from a mechanical standpoint is that you could lose your business, <laughs> really. I mean, it, and it comes down to really three main points that I'm just gonna throw out there that okay. I'm seeing right now. And that is number one, domain names. You think something as simple as domain names. I mean, we, you know, we've been registering domain, domain names since the early 90s, but so so it's not new to most people. You go to GoDaddy, you go to Bluehost, you go to all these different network solutions. But the problem with domain names is that people are, are really losing control of their own domain names. They're either getting stolen because they're not properly protected or they're getting lured away when it comes to renewal month for that domain name. They get an email in the mail and says, your domain name's coming due in three months. Click here to renew. And they do it. And, th and all of a sudden your domain name is lost because it goes to another owner now because, and you've already paid for it too. So uh, I'm kind of sound sounding upset about this because I really am. <laughs> it's frustrating to, I mean, this only happened two weeks ago to one of my clients. They got an email in the mail from wanting to renew for their domain name that was coming due in October. And I said, October, your domain name it doesn't come due until December. Why are you getting these emails? And I, she sent the email to me. Lo and behold, it was trying to lure them away to another registrar. So just be really careful with domain names out there. Um, so that, that's just an example. That's one, one of the areas I wanted to cover. And, and that has, you, you were saying that, and that has just recently happened to me. Oh, um, I, have, I have more than one domain name and um, I get, I get an email. I got something actually in snail mail about it. And I'm looking at these people and I'm like, I do not even know you. And a lot of this stuff doesn't even have a name. It doesn't, it's, it's like, it comes from mystery people, mystery domain. We don't have any idea who you are, but send us your money to renew your domain. And I'm thinking, nah, I don't, I don't know you that I just shred that little puppy right up. I have no use for that, but it is a big deal. I get it all the time and I know other people have to be getting that. So I think that's a great, great word of advice. Absolutely, and wow. Domain, domain name registrars are trying to lure you away too. I mean, they're legit, they're real companies, been around for a long time and they'll offer that you should transfer your domain name because they will give you free registration of that domain name for the next year and then you'll renew the next year at say you know 99 cents a year or whatever it is whatever kind of play they have but then when you renew they have all these upsells that they make you go through and all of a sudden you're paying forty dollars a year for your domain name i mean it's just ridiculous and that's one reason a long, long time ago, I started reselling domain names. I mean, I actually have a registrar system of my own that is called bestdomainplace.com. And I suggest all my clients go there because 
at least you're going to get charged what you see when you sign up for it. <laughs> That's right. the most important thing. And nobody's going to steal your domain name. I've had the thing since 2003. And that, I mean, you just have to get control of that one piece. And I'm just seeing an influx of people not having control of those domain names this year. So I want to be very clear to point that out in this discussion today. Absolutely. Thank you. That, that is such great information and i think it's something that a lot of us don't think about you know we, we we have our website and that's that's all we think about that's that's the end of it but there it's a it's a deeper issue and if we don't have an administrative assistant or a virtual assistant or you know an it team then we still need to be very aware of that so thank you so much for being so energetic about that information because we need to be energetic about it as well and um, so what do I need to know that I, I probably don't, other than this domain name thing? Is there something else? I mean, sure, I'm sure there's something else I don't know, Marty. Oh, <laughs> and no. we don't have all day, so just keep no, it short. I, I'll, I'll give you another one, websites. Websites are probably the, the most important thing to your business. As much as you hear people say, you don't even need a website anymore, just have a Facebook page, that is ridiculous. Your website is the only thing that you truly own out there other than your domain name and the content that you put onto your website. But I'm seeing again, an influx of people having their websites hijacked. And you know, I mean, so many people are using WordPress out there right now and, and WordPress is great. But if you've taken off the past three or four months from your business because of COVID and you're just now starting to come back to it and you're logging into your website for the first time, well, your plugins are out of date, your WordPress version is three versions behind now. I mean, there's all kinds of things that need to be continuously upgraded when you have a WordPress website or another content management system that requires constant updating of software. It's just software like anything else. But you've got to keep those updated and there's a process to it. You can't just go clicking on updates. I mean, you have to back up all your files, the database, everything. There's a process to it. And a lot of people are just going in there and they log in for the first time in a couple of months and they start pressing on buttons and all of a sudden they get a black screen. What happened to my website? Well, now I have to call my hosting company, get a backup. And this is where the other problem comes in. Hosting companies. There is a big company out there called EIG, and EIG for years has been buying up website hosting companies like Bluehost and One in One, and I mean, there's just a whole, there's like, there's hundreds of these small conglomerate, now, now they're a conglomerate of hosting companies, and they all have the same support system. Uh, uh, HostGator is another one, EIG owned. So just really try to stay away from these giant hosting companies because if something does happen with your website, they, if you get a, a virus in your website, if you if all of a sudden you have this black screen thing, there are 600 people a day reporting issues like that that are waiting for their websites to be fixed. It is just, a, I mean, people are down for like two weeks because of this long cycle that it takes for people to fix their websites. So, uh, it, which brings up another point, the people who are helping you from an administrative standpoint, your web developers, your web designers, these people are having trouble out there too. They are going through the same problems that everybody is. Their kids are going back to school or they're not going back to school. So all of a sudden they have a quarter of the time to do work for their clients or they have experienced COVID or their, their parent or grandparents have experienced COVID and now they're caring for them. There are all kinds of things that are happening right now so that you, the business owner, all of a sudden, okay, I'm ready to go. And now all of a sudden, uh-oh, my website's not up to date. My hosting company can't help me. My web developer's gone. <laughs> I'm seeing this every day, Dana. And it reminds me of 1996 when I first started in this business because the same darn things happened. People were registering domain names and their designers' names. <laughs> and all of a sudden the business owners hung out to dry and you know, web hosting companies were coming up and leaving and all that. Developers were coming into the game and leaving. I mean, you've got to align yourself with more than one person. So if 
that one person, something happens to them, you've already got somebody to go to that knows your business, knows your website, has your passwords and all that stuff so that they can jump into the project quickly. Right. And I just have to say, I'm very happy that I have um, a very reliable and uh, sustainable uh, person that I go to for my, my website. And <laughs> I think that person's Marty Dickinson, but that's another story for another interview. Let's see here. <laughs> what? So, okay. I am, you know me, Marty. We've known each other for a long time. I am not techie. I hate new things. I had to get a new phone and a new pad, tablet, whatever they're called. See, I don't even know what they're called. My mind explodes. I, ju I just can't stand it. What? what do I need to know in my own lack of techiness? And I'm sure there are other people who are watching that are not techie also. And it, all this stuff just, um, I don't know if it scares me or frustrates me. Um, why can't I just push a button or make a phone call and it just works? Why? So what, what do I need to know? Well, the first thing you need to know is the, the same thing I'd say to somebody 20 years ago. You don't have to be technical to do really well on the internet. <laughs> Newsflash, I'm not a technical person either, Dana. Everything I have learned about the internet, I have learned one step at a time, one piece at a time. I, I have a real problem just reading things, technical and going through the process. I have to be taught. Somebody visually has to say, okay, hit this key, then this key, then this key. I've just been doing it for so long that I've learned a lot of things, <laughs> but that doesn't make me technical at all. I'm also not a designer, but I can put a vision in my mind and I know the right people to bring onto my team when I have a project to work on. And I say, this is what I'd like to have. And that's important. So if you're not technical, but you know your audience and you know how to pre present yourself to them, you can do a lot of things on the internet that a lot of technical people don't have the skills to do. They have to be guided step by step exactly what you want them to do. And then it doesn't matter at all if you're technical or not, because you, all you have to do is surround yourself with the right people who can provide that piece and don't cost an arm and a leg <laughs> and bring the result that you're looking for. That's the important thing. Right. And I, and I think being able to, um, I think a lot of people have websites and designers that are, um, they're just not available to them. Uh, you, you know, you can't call them. You, you, and I know that I'm old school, bow wow, old dog, new tricks, all that good stuff. But I want to be able to speak to you. Right. And now there's WhatsApp and, you know, Facebook Messenger and I mean, a bazillion other ways that I am technically not aware of, but um, that you can actually speak to somebody. And I, for me, I want to talk to you. I want to be able to say, I'm thinking about this or why doesn't this work or, you know, instead of type, 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 type. Okay, I hope that relays what I want, you know, and, and, and hopefully I'll get an answer back, you know, before the season ends or before the next year starts or so being, having somebody that's reliably available, I think is so important to, to, to people, especially who are not technical, who get freaked out over, Holy tamale, my page just went blank. I don't know what happened. You know, what do I do? Well, the person who fixes those things should be available. You know, they, they don't have to be there 24 hours a day, but, you know, within 24, 48 hours, you should be able to get something fixed. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I'll even suggest to the people watching this, did you hear what Dana said? She said a major component of branding that you could use today, not even next week or next month, you could start using this today in your own branding to make you stand out among 95% of the other websites out there that do not provide phone numbers. Put your phone number on your website. Encourage your website visitors and your social media visitors, anybody that's connected with you, inspire them to pick up the phone and call you. It will differentiate differentiate yourself 
from so many people out there who are, are sort of into a, they're into the cycle where they're trying to make themselves into introverts as much as they can <laughs> by avoiding people. I mean, you know, more than ever today, we need to be around people as much as we can. And if we can't do that in person, we'll at least start getting on the phone and talking to people. It really helps. Zoom is a great, a great avenue here, but yet even a phone call where you can get up and walk around and just talk and even walk down the street and have a conversation with somebody, it's hard to do with Zoom <laughs> and having an audience and all that. It, it, all, everything has to be planned and time frames have to be planned and all that, but yeah, pick up the phone. And it really leads me into the third thing that I wanted to bring up, if I can just go into that, because we covered Absolutely. The yeah. website and hosting and all that. The third one is almost exclusive to this time in our history because of COVID, because we've all been so shut out and quarantined from each other and everything you see on the news and on social media. And if you follow Twitter, my goodness, you get hammered every single day with so much negative. We really need to be hanging around positive people that are progressing. So there's three components to that. Actual people <laughs> that are positive, but yet they're moving forward at the same time. They are progressing. You have to have those three components. Dana, you are exemplary in this area. You are an actual person, you are positive, and you are progressing because you just started this, this discussion, this, these interviews a few weeks ago. So you are progressing. Dana, you are the perfect kind of person that people need to be hanging around. So that's one day, that's your Tuesday. It starts off with Dana. What about the rest of the week? It's not good enough just to be around one positive person progressing per week or per month. It needs to be at least, just like exercise, three times a week, five days a week, maybe even every day. So you need to find those positive people who are progressing. I have my own show I just started a couple of weeks ago, and guess what it's called? Positive People Progressing. <laughs> and you can go to that at facebook.com slash groups slash virtual live events, where it started off as a virtual live events list. All these virtual live sessions that people are having, there's just no place to go. You can see what's up and coming. Every time I find out about one, I list it there, but now that group is expanding to the point where I'm bringing in my own guests. And Dana, you're going to be one of them, <laughs> coming up soon. <laughs> but see how that works. So Dana invites me on this show, I'm inviting her on this show, I'm bringing positive people in, she's bringing positive people in. That is exactly the thing that you need to be doing for your business, is looking inside your own area of focus for your business and thinking, well, what kind of person am I going to be with my clients? Well, hopefully it's a positive person <laughs> that is progressing. Start your own show, or at least start hanging around people that are doing things like this so that you can inspire maybe down, in, down the line in the future, because this is, this is one of the only ways that you can communicate now one to many. The live in-person events, they're still not booking. I mean, most people I know, Professional speakers are not getting booked until, until 2021, some of them even 2022, because all these venues are afraid of having in-person events, and they might for some time. So this is it. This is our method of communication. You need to really embrace it. Absolutely. I, I, I agree wholeheartedly with you. I just, you know, and I, I see, I go to the your live events Facebook page and uh, there's so many things on there that are interesting, but again, I have my own business to run, so I can't go. I can't. I can't hop on them all. They, they, you know, so, so they're, but they're, they're varied enough to where I could say this one, I need to to stop what I'm doing and and go get that one. This one, mm, you know, I could probably live without that one. So you you kind of pick and choose. And the the other thing that I think is is helpful for folks, um, I think. Uh, you know, I think some people call them masterminds, but get a, a group of like-minded people and see if you can get on a Zoom meeting with them once a week, every two weeks, once a month minimum, and talk about your business, talk about your challenges, 
what are you doing? What are you not doing? What's working? What isn't working? Just those, I think those things um, are so important. And, you know, we used to go to networking meetings, which I just despise. Ugh, um, I can't stand that. Um, you know, and someone said um, stabbing people with your business card. I, I will never forget that. You, you, when you go to a networking meeting, you stab them with your business card. You're just doing this constantly at people, which the, who's going to call me because I gave them a business card. You have to make a connection. And that's what I think um, if getting into a, a group of people, I, I'm not sure I'd call it a mastermind because that's a whole different kind of thing, but get into a, a, a meeting so that you can, you can, talk and share and visit and tell a joke and laugh and have some camaraderie with people. I, I think we, we're really missing that a lot. Yeah, I agree. And that's why you just, you just brought it out of me. I wasn't going to make this announcement until tomorrow on my own show, but what? since you brought that up. We have a scoop right here. Yeah, Business inspirations. Let's thing. go. So the past couple of months I've joined a mastermind group of there's one group that is just like me there that we are all web services providers and social media and SEO guys and all that stuff it, we're, that's our group and then there's another group that I'm paying some pretty big bucks for to be a part of and there's 50 of us and we meet four people at a time once a month to really deep dive and these people all are making over a certain dollar number every year so it's not for beginners. <laughs> we talk at a really high level. It's really fascinating. And more people need to be in groups like that. But a hybrid. See, I, I'm, I'm seeing that something needs to change. For those of you who don't know Dana and me, Dana was in a group of mine a couple of years ago when Zoom first started launching. We realized early on we needed to practice our presentation skills on live video. So I started a sort of mastermind, but it was really an opportunity for us every week to practice virtual live presentation skills. It, this, the new hybrid needs to incorporate that. So there needs to be a mastermind. There needs to be a practice focus group for presenting yourself on virtual live scenarios. There needs to be training for how to start a show like this. There needs to be the morphing into a podcast because that's how people are consuming content on a daily basis. And where do you put that podcast? How do you get it out there? Plus there needs to be the business component and the, the, the hanging around positive people component. <laughs> it all has to come together into something new. And that's what I'm launching in September. It's called Action Takers. I have a free membership site on my Here Next Year website that I have hundreds of people who have subscribed to. It, again, it's just free, but it has a whole bunch of resources in there. And that's called the Action Starters Program. But in September, I'm launching Action Takers. I'm going to supply more details about it, but it's going to involve all the, piece, the pieces that I just described as a hybrid, mastermind, working together, referral system. I mean, something that is intended for you to get business out of, but I'm not having this geared toward people who have already been doing this for 10 or 15 years. I mean, you're already established. You need a different kind of group. I love working with people who maybe they, you know, I, a new business owner that's, that's, that has some experience is good. It's kind of that middle quadrant. People who have started and, and, and they're, they're overwhelmed. I mean, Dana, you're a perfect fit for this group because I know about your overwhelm, but you're also progressing. You're wanting to go to that next step and, and really make something of what you offer, which is, I mean, you offer so much, it's just hard to see it sometimes <laughs> where that direction needs to go. Well, that's where other people come into play that are in the same group. You know, it, it always... You know, I, I love playing racquetball, and I learned a long time ago that if you want to get better at playing racquetball, you have to play 
people that are just a little bit better at racquetball than you are. <laughs> it doesn't have you don't need to be you don't need to be squashed by the A level players, the tournament, you know, national guys. That's not gonna help you. They're just gonna bury you. You just need to find those people that are just a little bit ahead and hang around them. That's what I want to put together is a group of all of us who are at that spot where we're really trying to progress forward. And and we'll be together for years. I mean this isn't something that I'm intending in putting together that's a get rich quick two month kind of in and out kind of deal. I mean, this is something where we really build relationships with each other and we become a family, a lot like Toastmasters. I mean, this idea came from Toastmasters. I've been in Toastmasters for years as you have, and you become a family when you're in a group like that. And this is something to, to incorporate those principles as well, all lumped up to a brand new I don't even know what to call it yet. It's not a mastermind. It's more than that. It's not a tribe. It's more than that. It's not networking. It's more than that. It's not a class. It's more than that. <laughs> we are creating something new. So all you have to do is go to herenextyear.com, sign up for the free membership, and you'll learn more about it as weeks go on. Absolutely. Well, that sounds really exciting. And if I could get my, my screen to change, which would be just really lovely. I have no idea why it doesn't do this. I, I, again, see, I love technology. I, I just am just fascinated by how it does not want to work for me <laughs> when I want it to. Last week it worked perfectly. This week it's not. Uh, Marty, 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 help me out here. So here, here, here is, here is Marty's information. We have. Um, uh, we have gone a little longer than normal, but I think this has been very exciting information that we could get on with other entrepreneurs, other business owners, and together build each other's businesses and uh, a community of people who are caring and um, wanting to help each other, which uh, kind of falls right into my kindness gig, is that what can I do for you? What can I do for you that's free? And so, Marty, we someone just needs to go to this herenextyear.com and uh, look for the the action takers. Uh, no, just go to click on the members login. There's a little members box up at the top right corner, and that'll take you to the sign up page. And just okay. sign up. all you can sign up for right now is the free membership. I haven't announced, uh, I'm announcing this now on your show. I mean, I haven't set anything up. You can't go sign up and get, you know, get a special deal or anything like that. Just go sign up and you'll get more details as I announce them to everybody. Great. That's fabulous. So here's Marty's information. You have questions. You can uh, reach him through the website. Here's his phone number, that, that verbal, not quite face to face, but you can actually talk to somebody. Uh, Marty is uh, not always there, but he's, available to call you back and is uh, um, available for people to grow and learn. Here's my information. If I can be of any service to you at all, please let me know. Um, I'm here uh, to, to help others. And that's one reason why I really wanted to have this interview time once a week um, is to help you. And maybe you don't need help with figuring out your website. But next week, we'll be talking about something totally different. And chime in. See what's going on. Let me know what you want. Is there something you want to hear from? Are you somebody that I can interview, that you can serve others? And uh, let me know. I'm, I would love to, to know that. Get a hold of Marty and be involved with this. And if you didn't get that information, I'll be posting it uh, later on on my Facebook page. Marty, this has been super exciting. Thank you for the honor of uh, your announcement. I, I am very, very excited, and I hope my viewers are excited as well. And let's let's hop on this. Let's get our businesses up and running and moving. And I know that I have been inspired, and this is one reason why I called this business inspiration, because I want others to be inspired as well. So Marty, thank you so, so much. And um, we'll be talking soon. Do, do, you want, do you have like 30 seconds? Anything you want to tell us for 30 seconds? I think the most important thing is that you have to choose who you want to be and the mental, emotional outlook you want to have. 
stay positive. I end every one of my Wednesday shows with stay positive out there, people, because you are a real person and you need to stay positive and always be looking for how you can progress forward. Even though that's a redundancy, progress forward. <laughs> that is we, the dream we, of the game. We love it. We absolutely love it. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Just Facebook me. Go to my website, uh, Dana at CoachDanaInspires.com. You can email me, and we will see you next week at Business Inspiration. Same time, same Facebook channel. Have a great day. Thank you, Marty, so much. Bye, everybody.